Little Orpheus is a visually stunning puzzle platformer full of fancy like set pieces and beautifully crafted environments, but it's sadly not without flaws. You play as Ivan Ivanovich, a Russian cosmonaut whose mission is to go to the center of the earth to see if you could establish a city there with the help of little Orpheus, some sort of atomic bomb. But three years later you have returned without little Orpheus and you are claiming you have saved the world. Now you have to explain what actually has happened in those three years to the general and hopefully he will believe your crazy story. Yes, that bomb. <laughs> of course, general, I can explain everything. But it is a long and somewhat complicated story. I would like to get the negatives out of the way first. This game is divided by eight separate episodes and one bonus episode. Each episode starts with this fun intro. And ends with this enjoyable cliffhanger. Will our intrepid yet doomed hero survive the jaws of the ferocious dinosaur? And then the credits. At first I really enjoyed all of these gimmicks. But they became really tiresome really quickly. Because they broke the flow of the game. The same goes for the dialogue or the narration. At first it's pretty funny and well executed. If only I had a single legion of men as brave and ingenious as you, with only a hundred men equipped with eggs to hide in, we could roll across Europe in a day. But after a while, it keeps on going and going, and it felt like some jokes were reused. So I got kinda annoyed by it, and didn't enjoy the dialogue at all eventually. You may therefore consider me a man blessed with an uncommon level of endurance for discomfort. I hate visiting the dentist. It's a shame, because I do think it's well voice acted. Maybe a bit over the top with the accents, but the voice actors did put a lot of emotion in their performances. Time is up. I sadly also have some complaints about the gameplay. It's very repetitive with a lot of easy platforming, puzzle solving, sneaking, unnecessary quick time events and simple escape sequences. The only episode that had a bit more variety in the gameplay was the bonus episode with this enjoyable boss fight at the end. I also want to address the fact that there is no replay value either. You can collect these glowing orbs that will let you unlock new outfits or concept art when you replay an episode. But they are just there floating in front of you without any exploring. But with that out of the way, I still would recommend this game just for the visuals and the world building alone. I mean, just look at it. It's a beautiful cinematic experience supported by a great soundtrack full of wonder and adventure. I, I could perhaps deliver a lecture on the subject to Moscow University Zoological Society, if you like. I was blown away by certain camera movements and how they elevated the impact of a scene. I really enjoyed the almost movie-like flow of this game. It really impressed me, and it reminded me of Arise, a simple story. So in general, Little Orpheus was a bit of a disappointment, but that's also because I had very high expectations. It's for sure a cinematic experience with a lot of memorable set pieces, but the gameplay lacks in variety and creativity. You do have some fun ideas here and there, 
but it's sadly not enough to keep you engaged the whole way through. I would recommend to only play 3 or 2 episodes each time, so it doesn't become too repetitive. It's not boring or anything, it's just a bit too simple while it could have been so much more. Give little Orpheus a try when it's on sale, and especially if you are looking for a cinematic puzzle platformer with gorgeous visuals and beautiful sound design. So be ready to travel to the center of the earth and find out what has happened to little Orpheus while you come across all these crazy scenarios beyond your imagination.